Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, so, moving on with the colouring book collection, I'm now going to show you my pattern books. So that's mandalas and patterns. Um, so I've got quite a few of these. So this one is Calming Origami. Oh, I hate trying to zoom on this thing. Okay, so this is Calming Origami. Um, anti stress, um, it's by Wins Holland BV. I got this from the works, um, and the idea is that it's origami pages. Um, but I think I'm just going to colour it like um, a normal pattern colouring book. They are single sided, they're very thin paper because remember it's origami, but both sides are identical. So I can easily colour this side and not origami ye fight. But in the crease here, it does say what it's intended to be, and then um, at the back. When we get to it, you'll see that there's all the instructions, origami instructions. These are all perforated down here because obviously the point is to colour it, take it out and origami it. So this is going to be a cat. I don't do that much origami at the moment though, so I just don't see it happening. Um, so I've just put it with my normal pattern books. I do have another origami colour book, um, which is Animals, and I am um, going to do that one. Um, the pages are much more... Um, they're not random patterns like this. They're kind of more like here is the eyes, here is the chest and there's another cat it's a lot less pattern like so I don't think you've really got any choice but to do the origami so if I fancy the origami I'll do that one so you see at the back here you've got your instructions for your origami so you can do that if you want Okay, so that's that one, Calming Origami by Wins Holland BV. Um, so that's that one. Okay, then I've got Colour for Calm, Pocket Size. Um, this is by Mindful Colouring Books. I'm not full flipping this because I've only just done it. So this is already on the channel. But I bought this so that I'd got a travel size colouring book to take away with me. So that's really good. I like that one. Um, then I've got Art Therapy Geometric by Dayla Rowney. Rowney, 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 Rowney. Oh, for goodness sake. There we go. Okay, so this opens out like this. And then the pages are this way. Um, these are single sided um, they are patterns but some of them don't repeat in a normal manner but they're quite unique so um, I'm looking forward to doing some out of here
Okay, then you've got this really thick piece of card at the back to lean on. So that's that one. And then part of the same series, I've got Kaleidoscope. I like this sort of style. We seem to feature a few times. I like this overlapping idea. So they're quite different to what you normally see. So that's um, De La Roni Art Therapy Kaleidoscope. Um, then I've got Geomandle by John Wick. So I've got a John Wick collection, but a lot of them are uh, Creative Haven. So I've already shown my Creative Haven books. So I won't be showing them here again. So if you want to see what else I've got, have a look at the Creative Haven um, collection, flip through. But these are really good because they're very clearly John Wick style, but they're mandalas rather than a page full of patterns. And then we've got the black background, so they really pop against that. So that is Geo Mandala by John Wick. Okay, then I've got Colouring Book by Risotto Studio. Um, I got this from. Oh, for goodness sake. I got I got this from Paper Chase. I'm just working my th way through doing these patterns um, monochrome, so all red, all green, all blue. I do like this book, but it was very expensive for what it is. I mean, the paper's good, but, um, you know, they still bleed through. Okay, so this is who um, the contact details for his auto studio. Okay, so that's colouring book by his auto studio. Everything's folding over. Okay, intricate patterns by Jade Summer. Um, these really are intricate. When you start one of these, that's you for like the next month or <laughs> something. But they're beautiful patterns, I might keep this out. Oh wow, look at that one. Some of them remind me of um, Persian rugs. Kind of like that one. That's very wallpapery. That's a bit like a rug. I don't know. Some are more mandala-esque. Some of them more like a straight pattern. That one's a bit Aztec.
and then all of their uh, contact details I mean just the back cover is intimidating so there's that so that's Intricate Patterns by Jade Summers then I've got Flowers and Swirls by Jade Summer. I haven't done anything in this, that's so bad. So these are much bigger images and would work well with alcohol markers. Little octopus. Feeling very scrunched up here, that's better. Oh, a harp. I might have said that last time I flipped this. I do. Okay, so that's Flowers and Swirls by Jade Summer. Then I've got um Sampler by Angie Grace. This is 2014-2015. This was a charity shop find for me, so that's really good. Um, so there's quite a few of these sampler type things out and you can buy updates and things like that. So um, at the time that this was produced, there was one page from every single one of her books. I love the titles. I always wanted one of her books, but I just didn't have... Um, no, I didn't have the money. I didn't want to spend that amount of money. Um, and I couldn't... And because of how much it was, I only wanted to have one. And I couldn't decide. And it was all up in the air. But then I saw this at the charity shop, and I was like, oh, my word. How great is that? I mean, that's a good name. Oh, wow. Yeah, definitely. So, there you go. That's that. Sampler by Angie Grace. Then I've got Illusion Colouring Book. Um, this is by Anke. I'm pretty sure I got this from the works. Um, I've had this for a little while now. Whip. Some things you start and you wish you never had. <laughs> So these are just straight patterns, proper repetition. So this is quite a cheap book. Um, really good for the money. Single sided. The paper isn't horrific. So yeah, so that is Illusion Colouring Book by the Anchor Group. This is another charity shop find. Uh, William Morris Designs um, by Emmanuel Coletti. Um, so William Morris did a lot of wallpaper. 
type design so this is his sort of thing this one is really famous for the strawberry thief so I really like his sort of thing um, super detailed I don't know if I'll copy the real ones or if I'll um, just do my own thing, I'm not sure yet. And this bit does tell you on this side what they're called. And this is a really thick book actually. This is a really good find. This one would be good, just two colours. Just the backing colour and then the front colour. Definitely fine liner work. Gosh, look at that one. So 45 colouring pages and you get all the real ones in the front and back cover. Um, just looking to the oh, octopus. Yeah, so I was looking to see if I've got a publisher on there. Uh, so that's William Morris Designed by Emanuela Coletti. Then I've got um, 100 black and white patterns by Sun Life Drawing. Um, I'm not going to do a full flip of this on here because that's a lot. And I'm sure I've got the full flip on the channel already. So they alternate white background, back, black background, but as far as I know there's no duplicates. So you don't get it you don't get the same design on white and on black. Okay, then I've got 300 mandalas by mm -hmm. Sally Berry. Again, I'm not doing a full flip of this because that would be our entire life. Nice thick lines. So these are really good with marker pens or glitter gel pens, whatever it is you feel like using. Single sided. I've just done these two at the front. Okay, so then I've got um, Colour by Number 3D Mandala uh, by Sun Life Drawing. Nice and simple Colour by Number Mandalas. Quite easy to do but very effective when they're done. I've got a whip there. Very naughty. Just working through this front to back. And some of the um, colour palettes are very limited, which is nice. Sometimes you like loads of colours, other times it's nice to just hardly have any. Ok, 
okay and then your full color palette on the back so you can match colors so that is color by number 3d mandala by sun life drawing then i've got one color mandala by sun life drawing and i have finished this book so there's a full flip of this on the channel already really nice simple shapes and you're just using one color so that's that one then i've got a uh, coloring heaven collection mandalas uh, by honey debney again i've only just flipped this so i'm not going to full flip this one again Okay. Then I've got a um, hundred greatest mandalas coloring book by Coloring Book Cafe. Um, this is a digital edition, so I've loaded it into a folder. I have done quite a few in here because I did it for uh, the two point six challenge um, last year where I coloured 26 mandalas in one day so I have got gone through quite a few of these and they're no longer in the order that they um, should be in and what I started doing was cutting them out and sticking them onto a coloured background or a fancy background oh, another whip! These are a nice mix of mandalas. So paisley, butterflies. Oh, that one's dropped. It's because my background is so glittery. That needs a truck ton more glue on it. But yeah, it's got all beads and things on it <laughs> so of course because it is a pdf i have printed them um single-sided um but then i've loaded them into the folder double-sided so that's what you're seeing some of them are very fine um, so yeah, big variety of styles. So some of them are more like a traditional mandala, others are more just like a round picture. It's more like a wreath. And then I've got some that are more, make me think of, um, yeah, like this one, make me think of like a dream catcher or something. Uh, but yeah, that's that one. So that's 100 Greatest Mandalas by Coloring Book Cafe. Okay, so then we're on to my Camellia Angelcova um, mandalas. So this is 50 dream catchers to colour. Even that's a whip. What am I doing? Do you me? These are really nice because they're reminiscent of mandal mandalas and patterns. And they have that kind of feel when you're colouring them. But there's not as much repetition. Um, so yeah. These make a nice change from just a standard mandala. Oh, he's like a spider. Oh, 
Okay, so that is 50 Dream Catchers to Colour by Camellia Angelkova. Okay, so next I've got 50 Summertime Mandalas. Um, um, so some of these are a picture in a circle. Um, some of them are pictures made into a circular shape. Uh, and some of them are mandalas. So you're getting a bit of a mix. Uh, whip. <laughs> I like this one because I like um, colouring sea life type things and there's a lot of seaside stuff in this. So that's why this one appeals to me. But I don't think, um, I don't know which season is my favourite. I'm very much torn between summer and autumn. I like looking at autumn but I'm not so hot on living it I think is part of the problem. So that's that one, 50 Summertime Mandalas by Camellia Angelkova. And then here's the autumn version. So same idea, but all autumn theme. See, autumn's good because it has Halloween in it. Kitty and a doggy. My favourite flower is a sunflower, and that's obviously very autumn. I'll see it's summer as well. You see, I think I'm on the cusp. <laughs> Now I love ducks. Aww. Oh, a squirrel with a scarf on. Yeah, and that's the thing, you see. You've got to put your scarf on. And that I don't like. Okay, so that's 50 autumn mandalas. Then I've got 50 lotus flower mandalas. I think this was the first one by her that I bought. So pretty. Really like the designs. I suppose they're a little bit zen doodly. Um, definitely some of these are more detailed. But still, this line, it's quite wide. So you can do markers in most of these designs. A lot of fish in there. <laughs> so that's 50 Lotus Flower Mandalas. And then the last one that I have um, is 101 Unique Mandalas. Now this book is really good because it features pages 
out of her other books. So in here, you are getting a circle, square, triangle, elongated, dream catcher, animal, sun and moon, Egyptian, yin and yang, Tibetan, heart, spiral, oriental, geometric, Aztec and Mayan, lotus, snowflake, paisley doodle, Celtic, fruit tree, landscape, Roman, text affirmations, simple and abstract um, mandalas. So you're getting like a real mix of them. So you'll see that I've coloured um, my colouring jumps around because I've gone to the next thing. And I've been doing some of these where you have a Disney character. And then I colour the mandala in their colour scheme. So these are the square ones. There's Chez, triangular one. This is like the elongated one. These are all my characters cut out ready. So then we're on to um, dream catches. Oh, which is obviously going to have to be um, yeah, what's her name? I, I genuinely can't think of a name. Uh, well, you all know. So that's the end of that. I love Sun and Moon. Egyptian. Love it. So this is really great. If you like mandalas, but oh, I don't know which one of her books to get because there's so many of them. This is really excellent because you're getting a sampling of everything. I hadn't realised that that's what this was. I thought it was 101 mandalas, which I just thought I'm not going to use that book enough. But then when I found out, it was this. I saw that on somebody else's channel, oh my gosh, ages ago. I can't remember who it was. I should really write down, if I'm ena enabled by somebody, I should write in the book who enabled me. Yeah, I might start doing that. Let's look at these ones, pictures, beautiful. These are your Celtic mm -hmm. ones. Affirmations. So I do like affirmations, but I wouldn't want an entire book of them. Simple. And then these must be the abstract. So has she got a book of Egyptian mandalas? Because I feel like I don't remember that and I would have bought it. So there you go, that is 101 Unique Mandalas by Camilla Angel Coven. So those are all of my pattern and mandala books, excluding the Creative Haven ones because I've already flipped them for you guys. Um, and obviously if it's Christmas or Halloween, it'll be in with those sections. Um, okay, so I hope you enjoyed um, that video and all the flip throughs. Um, all the links will be in the description below. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. And then whenever I put out a new video, you will know about it. Okay, I'll see you in the next one then, guys. Bye!